hi everybody welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me here today today i thought i'd show you something that i actually normally do kind of in the background um because i was never sure if people were actually interested in this but um i thought i'd just show you so every month um certainly this year anyway one of my new goals is to make sure that i post up a video showing you all the cards that we've made for the previous month just to give you some inspiration maybe you've missed some of them um and i just think it's really good for you to see what we've been making together um once i've made that video i then start sorting through them um to find the ones that i'm going to sell the ones that maybe i want to keep and the ones that just don't look right that maybe i'm not quite happy with so i just thought i'd bring you along with it to be fair i have already started to sort it out so um here i've got two piles of cards so this is a pile of cards that i've been through that i think are really nice they are all um like good quality they, they're ones that i'm definitely happy selling so i'm going to show you how i sort through those ones and then these ones are some that i'm just not happy with so these are all the cards i made in february and i'm gonna sort of show you what bits i'm not happy with and why i've decided that these aren't going to be sellable um so this one i think it's absolutely beautiful i really like this and i'm really disappointed but i just didn't stick it straight um i may see if i can take this panel off um i mean use like a heat gun or something to try and heat the adhesive in the back i can't remember how i attached it um but it's not level on either side there's a larger white patch here than there is there and you can see along here that i just didn't um stick it on straight it happens to everybody <laughs> um I try my hardest, but sometimes, no matter how hard I try, I just can't do it. If I can't get the backing paper off, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to take like these panels off. So anything that I can save and take off, I will always try to. I don't just sort of throw these cards away. They go into a work me box. I've got a box full of cards that just need something doing to them because I'm not happy. This one, I absolutely love this card. I think it is so cute. But it got too close to my radiator. My radiator is literally at the back of my desk. And I don't know if you can tell, but the heat warped the card slightly. And even though I've had it under something flat, I just can't get it to flatten out. Um, and I'm not happy selling that. So again, I'm going to try and see if I can save the panel. If I can, great. If not, I can definitely save the toppers. Um, so I'll just take the toppers off. And then with these two, I made these with some printed elements. Now, I absolutely love the cards. I think they're beautiful. However, um, I used wet glue to stick this backing on. And these backing papers were printed on just some normal like copier paper that's quite thin. And I can see where the glue's been, which is why I don't like it. Um, and it's nothing more than that you will see glue marks on any of the thinner papers it's just one of the risks that you take I guess so um but it's okay I'm gonna I can definitely save this background this topper no problem uh I should be able to save this topper too and then I can reprint these backing papers and just redo the entire card um but this time I will use my double-sided tape or atg just so you can't see those so i'm not happy with those they're going to go in my work me box and i will fix them save or save whatever i can save out of them um just so that not not a lot goes to waste i'm just going to pull you out ever so slightly to show you what i now do so the next thing i do is i separate all my cards into the size and the colored card blanks so that i can make sure I get the right um, envelopes for these. So now I've got a lot of these. These were on one of the Chris's Craft Challenges, which was great. What else have we got? That's a little white 4x4, four four, white 5x5, five five, white 6x6. Six six. It's one of those ones, and that is one of those ones. So now I know what sort of sizes and what colours I am going to be working on. So then I'm just going to go to my um, 
shelf that I have all of my card blanks in. And in these, I have the envelopes. And I also have um, the cellophane envelopes as well. For some of them, I only have one bag of cellophane. So I'm going to grab them what I need. And I just pop them on there. So I need two of these cellophane bags for that. I know this is the only bag of cellophane. So I need to pick out how many I need for this. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i need eleven of these for this one so, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven should be right so that's 11 of those cellophane bags i now know i'm starting to run a little bit low on these so i know before the end of march i need to get some more of those ordered those in there. and then what else do i need so i have one of these ones so i need an envelope And then I need a cellophane bag for my white one and a cellophane bag for my brown one for my craft card. Sorry, four by four in white. So there's my white envelope. I haven't used any of my four by four craft cards yet. I need to. I do like 4 by 4 size cards. Um, we don't have any DLs this week, this month, should I say. We do have two 5 by 7s so again, I'm taking out my white envelopes. And one... And two... So I just need my white five by fives. White five by five. Just need one of these. I've only made one in that size. There's the envelope for that. And then I need one of the craft six by six envelopes so we have that one with that and then i need 11 of the craft envelopes for this so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11? I think that's 11. They're only at the side of me anyway, aren't they? And then this bit will get very repetitive, so I'm not going to show you exactly what I do. But once I've got them all organised, I just do a final double check and then I pop the card inside the envelope just slightly like so. Then I take my clear plastic envelope and I put this in and I always set it so that the um, sticky part of this will seal on the back. So it will seal down just like so. And then I then have some little stickers that I pop on the clear plastic envelopes. I do want to get a stamp. Um, so for anybody who is watching if you've got any ideas of where i could get a personalized stamp i want to be able to personalize my cards um okay. i'm gonna cause chaos here i want to be able to personalize my card so that as i make them i stamp my um company name on the back 
I don't have that at the minute. I'm just trying to get to my stickers. Um, yes, I want to be able to actually stamp. Oh God, it's taking me directly on. At the minute, I just have these little stickers that I stick onto the back, and I print them off on my label machine, my mum bin, which is fine. I'm more than happy to do it. But if anybody knows of where I can get one. I don't want to spend like an absolute fortune on it um but i would really like one and i don't even mind like it doesn't have to be self-inking i've got so many ink pads that i'd be quite happy with like just like a silicone one or something or i don't know let me know in the comments down below anybody had one anybody can recommend anyone anyone make them themselves let me know but i just pop that on there and then at least when people buy them or they're looking at my um cards at fairs and markets i do have that i just don't have anything on my cards like inside or anything themselves they are just plain so once they give this out to somebody nobody will know who it's been made by which is why i want the personalized stamp um and that's what i do so these then go into a box I've already taken pictures of them, so they will go on my website when I get around to it, which is even worse. Um, but yeah, that's what I do when I'm sorting out my cards. I hope you've enjoyed this, or at least it's seen you, allowed you to see some more of my process. Um, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. Bye for now.